A funeral service will be held for former Senator Bob Dole. You are looking live at Washington National Cathedral, where the service will be held in just a few hours. Joe Khalil is live outside the cathedral with more. Joe. Yeah, the ceremony starts around 11 a.m. Eastern time, a little less than two hours from now. We are expecting to see the late senator's body uh, arrive here about a half hour before then from the Capitol where he's lying in state. Should be a special ceremony. We're going to hear from President Biden as well as uh, former senators Pat Robertson uh, and Tom Daschle. These are people who served decades with uh, the late Senator Bob Dole, but also people who he considered friends. And we are going to hear a more personal account from Robin Dole, uh, his remaining daughter. And, you know, because of his work with veterans and his military service, after the ceremony here, uh, there will be another one at the World War II Memorial on Capitol Mall, uh, where his widow Elizabeth is going to be laying a wreath uh, for Senator Dole there. Uh, we're also going to hear from the Joint Chiefs Chairman, uh, General Mark Milley. And Tom Hanks uh, at the World War II Memorial as well. And, you know, you see the images of the casket draped in the flag. That is not because Bob Dole was a senator or a statesman. It's because he was a soldier. And he was a soldier who took a bullet for this country uh, in the mountains in Italy, uh, suffering an injury he never fully recovered from, still limited mobility. Uh, and, you know, when he came back, that really defined a lot of his career uh, here, a uh, fitting that he would be taken over to the World War II Memorial, again, for what he had done uh, for veterans. And over the past 48 hours, uh, he has been given some of the most dignified honors that this country bestows on anybody, Adrian, certainly fitting uh, for his 98 years of life. We're going to go again from here uh, to the memorial and then over the weekend back to his home state of Kansas. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.